It's two shows in one. The Superhero Comic-Con and Car Show, August 4th through the 7th, in San Antonio at the Freeman Expo Hall. Presented by Thomas J. Henry. It's a Comic-Con with stars like Ewan McGregor, Haley Atwell, Simu Liu, Giancarlo Esposito, wrestling superstar Hulk Hogan, Arrows Stephen Amell, Dave Bautista, and many more. Plus a massive Hollywood car show with 45 awesome cars like Batmobiles and Transformers Optimus Prime. Tickets available at pmxevents.com. It's Greg Powers. It's uh, This Week in Recruiting on Texas Football Today, and I'm joined by Texarkana Pleasant Grove giant offensive lineman, Caleb Hackleman. Caleb Hackleman, man, thanks for coming on with me. Yes, sir. How's it going? Good, man. Uh, wow. There's a lot of talent coming back on your team. You're going to be a senior leader on that team. How excited are you, you know, just to, uh, I guess, put the pads back on and start hitting again? You know, man, we're doing we're, – we just started spring ball today. You know, we're doing all this. Like, we, we can't go on pads because, you know, our division, we're too small. And um, I don't know. I, I can see, like, everybody's excited. I mean, we'll, our offensive line next year will be all seniors. And I can tell. I mean, we're ready to go. I can see in everybody's faces. I know that uh, your state title aspirations fell a little bit short last year when you all got beat by the eventual, eventual state champion in Carthage. But there's a lot of talent to be excited about coming back for the Hawks. Um, you mentioned all the senior leadership on the offensive front, but the quarterback's coming back too, Akari Johnson. Mm -hmm. He's a pretty good player. You got Jalen Bordley, you know, the running back linebacker specialist, and Caden McFadden. That's just the D1 guys. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, do you guys – do you feel like maybe there could be something special in the air around this team? Uh, I'm excited about it, man. Like you said, I mean, we have a lot of talent, but even if like people, there's people on our team that are like still really good players. I mean, you don't have to have offer to be a good player, you know. And um, uh, we just have a lot of good athletes. They just play hard. I mean, not afraid of contact, and they just get in there and they just fight with me. And it's just, I don't know. It's it's good to have teammates like that, you know. Talking about your own game, what have you been working hard on this offseason to get ready for that uh, that push in 2023? I, I've been working on my flexibility, the biggest part, just bending your hips, playing with the bend your knees, and all that good stuff. Um, is there a game that you guys have circled on your calendar? Is there is there one game that you guys maybe have a little chip on your shoulder you're looking forward well, to? start with, I think we're looking to go after Bird. You know, last year we had a tough loss to them. I, I think we're all prepared for that game. I don't know. And I, I don't know. I'm excited for the Brock game, first game of the season. I mean, they they won state last year in the division, right? Brock did. Yeah, uh, yeah Brock's up, man. You know, they're a perennial contender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so they're. I, I had fun playing against them last year. I mean, they always give us good. I, I like the dudes on their team. I know a couple of dudes from their D line. I, I respect them a lot. And it'll be fun to go back and play against them. Um, but yeah, I think we're looking for the bird, the bird team. I think that's going to be our game this year. I don't want to bury the lead because you had some big personal news yourself. You made your commitment to Oklahoma State. You picked the pokes yes, over sir. offers from, you know, Texas Tech, Baylor, Memphis, schools like that. What was it about the Cowboys program that drew you in? You know, I, I committed like the last day of my official visit. And I just was – I was like already – I was wanting to make my mind up. And I was just going to see how the visit went. I and mean, I loved it, man. It's like – uh, I, I I got hosted by a couple offensive linemen, and I just thought it was great. I mean, I like I like the town, you know. I like the people there. I like I love the coaches. Coach Dickey, he's he's a great guy, fun guy to be around. I enjoyed Coach Dickey a lot. I mean, it was just a great visit, and I just said, hey, why not? Sounds like a lot of good reasons that the campus and the staff and that kind of stuff has you excited, but. How did it fit you um, football wise? I know that that was probably an, an important factor factor in your decision making process. What was their pitch to you? And obviously, you received it well. Um, so basically, I mean, they do, they just work. They work a lot of like we're 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 changing, we're changing offenses and stuff, and we're we're doing a lot of like the steps their offensive line takes, and we're learning similar to them. So I mean. As far as like you know, wing in the wing C, which I've, well, I played for three years, we don't do a lot of pass sitting out of that. But I mean, you can be taught that. So I mean, the offensive line coach already told me he's not worried about that. But I mean, it's just the aspect of they said they just love that the way I played downhill. You know, just paving the way. And they said you can't really teach that. So yeah, I think I'll I think I'll fit in great with the offense. 
I think they hit the nail on the head, man. Watching your tape, I know that you have to do a lot of run blocking, but you don't you don't have a problem getting on the second level and showing your your athleticism. I would say in the open field, and I think that'll be okay. important in like you know the Oklahoma State. I guess I would consider it like a fast paced style of offense, but they're very diversified. They're not afraid to run the ball there. No sir. Yeah, they'll 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 line up and. Uh, let you clear some lanes out for those backs. And speaking of that, I don't know that they recruited him as a running back, but your friend Jalen Bordley committed on the same weekend. What was that yes, like? Uh, that was cool. You know, I'm I'm glad for I'm excited for him too. I mean, this can be awesome. We'll have four PG players there now because we got Xavier and Nick's already there. But yeah, I, I was excited. I saw him the day after. You know, we got all excited. It was a cool deal. I didn't even know he. Didn't, I never knew he was going to commit that weekend. He didn't tell me. I saw it. I saw it. On, I think I saw it on Twitter first. And I started smiling. I was like, "Oh, that's great." That's weird. That's weird too, because you know, people who are like fans of this or you know, fans of these teams, they always assume that everybody knows all this stuff that's mm-hmm. going on. There was a, a funny kind of side story. Is I would, uh, somebody committed to a Big Twelve school mm-hmm. last week, and I called his coach. You know, and I was like, "Hey, coach, just want to check in and talk to you about." You know, player X, why did he make this commitment? And he's like, mm-hmm. he committed. <laughs> so it's not yeah. always like, you know, some of this is surprises mm-hmm. for everybody who's involved there. And you mentioned that connection at PG to Stillwater. Does it kind of feel like a home away from home? Does that make it really more comfortable there? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, I the big thing for me is like I, I enjoy like hunting and fishing a lot. And, I mean, you'll see a lot of offensive linemen up there. That's, like, everything they – like, when they're not playing football and they have time, they'll go away and do that. So, I think that's one of the big side factors for me as well. But, I don't know, man. It's they like, call that a they call that a culture fit. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I just – I love it. Um, you got a couple other guys on your team, I think, that might be considering OSU. Are you guys now working on them? Was that, like – Spring practice, yes, you guys are probably yeah. putting the full court press. Yeah, I've been today. Talk, I've been talking to Akari about it, our quarterback. I've been talking to him, so but yeah, uh, he, he's excited. I, I think he likes OSU too, but it's just time will tell. Uh, kind of just talk about what it's like going from a high school player and now getting to realize your dream of playing college football. I mean, I can remember before you had your first offer, and now to see you have. You know, P5 offers, and you're going to be playing in the Big 12 for a school that everybody grew up watching. What's it really like? I don't know how to get <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of a cool deal because, I mean, I worked I worked for a couple of years. You know, I was like 220 pounds my freshman year. I was just working on basically everything, my strength. You're trying to get more athletic, you know, all that deal. <clears throat> I don't know. It's like it kind of just came up on me quick. I – that's what I expected. I mean, I'm excited now that it's here. Now I'll, I'll graduate early, so I'll graduate in December, and then I'll I think officially start January the first. Yeah. So that'll yeah, be cool. But, so you're going to be an early enrollee up there, but I know that you know that there are going to be a lot of Texas high school football fans that are going to be rooting you on as you go on to play. Mm-hmm. You know your college career, and I just wanted to say congratulations and thanks for the taking the time to jump on with us, and uh, yes, we'll be we'll be out there to watch you play in the game this season. Yes, sir. I appreciate you having me on.